channel home with mrs p my name is ruthie this video today is the ikea shop with me kind of final part of what i actually bought um from the shopping experience that i showed my mum i did actually go there to do a click and collect but just the evening before i decided that i was going to actually try and make the effort to see how long i could last going out shopping I've been off ill for quite some time and I've been fearful of sort of issues with my illness and getting extremely tired etc with fatigue so I did have lots of breaks during that IKEA experience and I was absolutely exhausted when I got home but I was so happy um, that I managed to actually get out by myself um, not with supervision and to be able to drive and to be able to get around a store. So I'm trying to be more mindful of trying things without having the fear of things going wrong. So anyway, let's get on with the haul. So the first part was the click and collect. And these are items that I can't get delivered, obviously, otherwise I would. But I love Christmas. So one of the first things I got, and I haven't unboxed it, um, the reason I went to the click and collect is because I managed to get a Christmas tree from Ikea which was 170 centimetres and I got it for £7. So now when it came to buying these nearer the time they were obviously getting out of stock a lot anyway even in the store and for delivery and you just couldn't get your hands on them so they've obviously had lots of stock come in after and now they need to get rid of them so i'm happy with that because that is now going in the loft and we'll be able to decorate with that next year so it's kind of like a staple that we can put away again i've mentioned in a previous video that everything i buy comes out of a pot of money where i've sold on something that we've had in our house that could be curtains cushion covers vases old fires old furniture etc we have downsized so we did get a lot a rid of a lot of surplus furniture and home decor and i've just put that money away and using it for items that we want in this home or that we can use for future for decorating and obviously with the way things are going financially um i'm about to lose my job so this was kind of I should I am saving um, but these items I wanted to make sure that I put by so that when we are on a really 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 tight budget that we have still got cozy things around our home and that I can still if I'm at home because of my illness that I can still make the effort to try and decorate and also share those decoration videos with you guys so the other thing I got which I kept missing out on at Christmas was the two LED candles so um they are the i think they're 28 centimeters it's 11 inch candles so they're kind of battery operated and um they're the ones where the white led candle i wanted those kind of for decorating anyway but they are nice in the evenings and also with candles it's fire hazard etc and i'm a bit dopey with knocking things over so i've recently broken a vase as well which was an expensive one from years ago so i'm a bit gutted about that um other staple was my Ikea rubber gloves, so I am showing all these things because my mum loves to watch all of these, which is why I made the video in the first place. And the other thing that I bought was this corner kind of unit. It is plastic and it is white. What I like about these is we've got a cream bathroom. Um, it does get a lot of hard water marks and I've got one, well I bought three of these. So one is actually for the shampoo conditioner etc and i put that up to test it because we did have another one that kept falling down but that was because of the way that the backboard of the tiles were so i'm testing it on the tiles here so far so good it hasn't fallen down but i actually wanted this one because we're renting i didn't want to do any damage to the tiles or the walls but i wanted to put up one of my ivy plants in the corner but I didn't want to put a hanging basket through the ceiling and I didn't want to stick anything else on the tiles. So I thought if I had this, it means that I could actually put plants inside and have them kind of draping out over. And the nice thing is with the suction caps that you can take it off and you can clean it, etc. Um, and if my pot did overspill, it can actually go through there. But I have got it in, a, in another pot anyway. So, um, but yeah, I thought that would be quite nice for decorating in the summer when I kind of add some greenery to the bathroom or move my ivy plants around. So that's that one. 
The next one was the reusable food bags. I quite like these because you can, um, my husband uses them for his sandwiches and I use them for all of our meals and things and doing meal prep, so splitting up meats that come in etc for meal prep and the nice thing is that you can wash them dry them and reuse them rather than keep using plastic bags so that's quite nice even though we have lots of plastic here from ikea and lots of packaging it is quite a nice thing to have in that we can recycle with that one then um i've got my lint rollers so if you saw the video you probably saw me pick those up um, so I've got two of those and I keep one sort of out by the door so that when I'm on the way out the door if I find that I've got dog hairs on my trouser legs because as you're exiting the building you've still got the job, dogs jumping up um, but I also put one in my cleaning basket so that um, if I'm wiping down the sofas or I notice that there's fabric hairs then I will use that as well. So the next thing was scissors, I always get scissors. We're always missing scissors in this house, so we've got, you know, food scissors and I've got crafting scissors, but it's just having the scissors in the drawer when you need them. You can't find them when you need them, can you? So we had those, they were £2. Um, plastic bags, I believe, were £4 and you get, you get 15 of those big ones, but you can pay for the smaller bags, I think it's £3 for 30 so tin opener, so um, I struggle with the kind of the thinner tin openers. Um, I did try the one with the rubber handle which goes around the top but I can't turn it very well. So I've gone back to this one because it's got the larger handles um, and hopefully that will be easy to actually go round. But yeah, I struggle with handles on things when my hands are stiff. So, um, but hopefully, I mean a lot of the time it's the ring pull but even then I have to get a device to actually pop the ring. Next up is the spongies. So a pack of three, I think these are always like a pound or £1.25 for a pack of three. I'm a bit of a stickler with these because I love having them in my drawer. And if you saw my drawer, you'd see that I stash these. One thing I do, and I copied that from vacuum, till vacuum do us part, um, is that I cut these in half. So I actually get six out of this. So if I'm doing a big cleaning job, I can then, you know, if I'm scrubbing something, that is really manky, I just chuck it. Um, or, you know, use it a couple of times and then throw it away. So, um, but I, I've also started using these in the bottom of my plant pots because they act really well as keeping new plants. They roll and put them in the bin. I put them in the bottom of the plant pots under the soil or I'll keep them in a bucket to save them for that when it comes to sort of potting season and stuff. So it's just like the sponges and it helps with the absorption, etc. So don't waste them. Make sure I use them for normal cleaning, then maybe pet cleaning, and then they go into the plant pots. Next up was the hobnail plant pot. That was four pounds, so really nice. They did have a bigger one. Um, I think it was six pounds from, from what I recall in my video. Um, but I liked the small one because I thought it was quite nice to actually put inside the house and it was quite versatile. Sometimes if you have one that's too big, it then doesn't sit properly on something. So I went for the small one for now, um, but I love this hobnailing, hobnail detail. So that was four pounds of that one. So next I got these faux rose stems. Now I believe these were 175 a stem. I thought they were pretty good because they've got the soft, sort of texture they've got at least three rose buds one medium one large and one small and the greenery with it um and i wanted those so that i can decorate for spring you can use them in the summer and i mean you can use those at christmas as well so they are pretty much an all year round staple you can mix them in with the reds for valentine's day as well so i thought that was quite a good price and i hope that those will last me quite a few years once they get sort of messed up um, and to the point after a few years where they're no good, don't ever throw them away. I put them in a tub and keep them a spare greenery to make maybe a tablescape or a little arrangement. Or you can put them on, you know, floral wreaths and things like that. So always keep your faux flowers and the leaves. So to mix in with those, I did get some more eucalyptus leaves. I have got 
eucalyptus leaves already. Mine are slightly different. Um, I've got some black ones and green ones, but they're kind of lighter green with some white on them, uh, or the vein, kind of a veiny colour on the leaves. And I quite liked these because they were the darker, darker colour. Again, um, I like the brown stems on them. So these, I believe, were £253 a stem. And I thought that they were really good. I will check the prices and I'll link it down below. But that's the kind of look. So I always buy three stems because even if I don't use all three and I might use two, you've just got that extra one. And obviously you can manipulate them and bend them really well. So, and that's where, you know, I can mix in, mix them in there. I mean, you can make a lovely bouquet of flowers there, look. So anybody watching before Valentine's Day, you can actually make a nice bunch of flowers from Ikea. A bit of tissue paper and you're done. So the next item were these. I thought these were amazing. Um, they are 93 centimetres long. And I kind of think they look like trees, tree branches. Um, but it's such amazing greenery. I'm just trying to have a look to see what the name of it was. But uh, So it's called the Smica. Um, I'm not sure what type of tree it is. It may be maple. It could be some sort of floral branch. But I thought these were absolutely amazing. These were six or seven pounds a stem. So that was probably my biggest buy. But I thought having three of those... I mean, you could use them on their own around the house or one of those and a couple of flowers. You can mix them in or you can have two or you can have three and you can put them in a big vase. I would have shown you an example, but I've broken mine. So I need to do a DIY on some charity ones and repaint them so that I can actually use them in the house. So, um, but yeah, so three of those. So that was £21 <laughs> on stems, which I kind of think, oh my God that's extortionate but the reality is that they will last a long time and I will pretty much be able to decorate for spring summer even Christmas with these because you could actually add lights and um, decorations you can have it for entryway you can have it for porch you can even put them outside if you really wanted to to have you know if you're entertaining and you've got chairs outside patio area these would look absolutely amazing in a tall vase or even a plate planter with some concrete and then put some um, you know the faux material in and just shove them in stick them in and it looks like you've got trees in your garden so it's probably a cheaper option um than actually buying the trees that you get but for 93 centimeters that was quite good and then i also had these which were the lupins i believe that these were about five pounds each so you can see those from a distance they look realistic i think um they are kind of um silk flowers um but, but again i thought that mixed in for summer these would be absolutely amazing again i mean you could put you know a vase of these outside if you were entertaining having a barbecue or something you could put a vase of these outside um and bring them in when you've finished or you can just decorate your kitchen lounge even your bathroom if it's big enough to hold these things but again really really good size and absolutely gorgeous so i've got those as well and then finally i do have two little pinky roses and um, these were a pound each i think just in the bins i did pick these up because i am doing a valentine's kind of simple decorate um and i will put up a video of where i just decorate for that so i'm not doing anything massive um but i do like to feel that i've made a bit of an effort i am at home a lot and um i thought it'd be quite nice you know my husband is not bothered about these but i like to make it feel sort of like cozy or just have something in the house for the season you know the way things are at the moment it's all doom and gloom and every day is the same um, you know, you can actually every couple of weeks just change out your house, add a couple of bits and, you know, decorate for a season, decorate for a celebration, just change things up. So um, I appreciate that everybody else is probably a lot busier than what I am. 
because I've been off work for quite some time. However, you know, I have a lot of pain in between, a lot of fatigue, a lot of sleeping, a lot of mobility issues. Um, but I do like now to channel my pain by getting up in the night and then maybe doing something. So that's where I'll either think about doing some decorating, I'll sit and do some flower arranging, um, or think about, you know, plan ahead of what I'm going to do with a room, maybe the table, the coffee table, and that's the way that I'm just having to kind of manage, you know, my pain and everything that goes with it at the moment. So then I got these cushions. So these are kind of, these were only £2.40 each for IKEA members. So um, I ended up, if you saw my videos, you would have seen me pick up green ones and blue ones and things like that. Um, but considering that I looked at the darker sofa rather than the light coloured sofa, I kind of put some back because I had the attitude that if I didn't love them and didn't need them, I wasn't going to keep them. Um, and I love the green. So, and although they were £2.40 each, it's quite easy to just buy one of each colour because it's such a reasonable price. But if I did change my mind and want the red ones in the future, I will go back. But I had to think about it and I've got cream cushions with a bit of red in them anyway. And I've got lots of cream cushions and a lot of whites. If we do change our sofa covers, then I'm going to need different colours. So I thought, no, I'm going to wait. I definitely wanted green. Um, I like greens and creams and I like to add in reds but sort of subtly either just on the tree or maybe with a couple of red candles etc. So I did get four of those because we had two sofas. I wanted those as kind of the back cushions um, so that I've got those and I will have them layered so they will be at the back and then I will put a lighter colour in the front and then probably have my other cushions. I'm already planning ahead for Christmas. And then, and then put my other cushions in the middle. But who knows? Anything can happen between now and then. We might not even have a sofa. So then I found these. There weren't many left, but they have put them in the summer section now. But these were a Christmas staple. They're kind of like the rugs. See if I can undo one. Um, they're the throws that are 120 by 170. They're seven pounds each. They're actually like a green and cream or green and white with the tassely bits. So I thought these would be nice. I mean, you can use them as, I know this is, I'm talking Christmas, but you could actually, there's a lot of green in for this summer with green and pink, green and yellow and the boho theme, etc. So I know I'm showing Christmas stuff, but you can actually use it all year round. But here is the throw. So, I mean, you could use these across tables, as table runners. Um, so that's kind of, it's like a, a herringbone, I could say. A, yeah, a herringbone kind of design. Really soft texture. Um, and then you've got the tassels at both ends. So I thought they're really nice as a throw for either the two sofas that we've got, or a chair, or a table, or you can even use them as a tree skirt if you wanted the green. Um, that's a really good budget option um, you know and it's things to pick up between now and then because you get to sort of like October November time and then it's either they haven't got the Christmas stuff in yet because of supply issues or it's picked over by the time you get to it and it's all out of stock so there's like a sudden mad rush for everything and I kind of think with the way that prices are going up and production etc who knows, you might not even get it, and if you do get it, it might be twice the price by the time we get to Christmas. So I had two of those, one for each sofa, because I was kind of planning ahead, or I thought one downstairs, one upstairs. And then just to top that off, I did pick up the kind of faux fur rugs that they had. These were a last chance to buy. So, um, and they are kind of like a faux sheepskin, so you've got this. So, you know, good for bath, good for kids' rooms, or your bedroom, etc. But again, I bought these to actually go over chairs or the back of my sofa at Christmas um, as kind of a decorative feel. So I had two of those in green and two in white, so that's where all my money went. <laughs> Florals and rugs, basically, because the rest of it was sort of pin money to be honest. Um, so yeah, I think I spent £40 on rugs 
and about 40 or 50 pounds on florals um and my total bill was 130 pounds and the click and collect was 7 23 pounds because i did have the other part of the click and collect was the gold lamp um you might see the lamp behind me that's the vintage lamp that i've had for a long time and the shade i've had for a long time and what's annoying is that the shade is so big and i haven't got any other smaller shades and it's so big that it's actually you can't place the lamp in a certain way so it's pushing away from the wall so i wanted something that actually fit the space so i've got i have one of these already and it's got a large base and i think i went a bit mad because the base is really huge but we did have a huge table in our old house so we now have this one which i need to put together but yeah, so this was £13, so I'm going to have to put that together. And then I've already got a small white lampshade, which would have looked absolutely stupid on that because it's got such a wide base that it would look silly and you could see the bulb from the top. Whereas this, it actually fits halfway down anyway, and then you've got the thin stem. So... That was, again, that was what I was supposed to buy on the Click and Collect. So, um, apart from that, I think that's everything, apart from the candle. I did get, oh, excuse me, I did get this candle. It's eucalyptus flavour. Now, whether, I'm, or eucalyptus smell, I should say, um, whether I'm going to keep that till Christmas, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be able to resist using it. And it was two pounds, so I could buy another one in the future. It does smell nice. It is really nice. It's a fresh smell, and I kind of think it is a spring scent, although it's probably in relation to winter. But I love it. It's a plant smell, so to me, anything greenery, leaves, trees, plants, is really nice in the springtime as well. But we're still in winter, aren't we? So anyway, that is everything. So I hope you enjoyed my mum's videos of the walkthroughs. Um, I need a proper camera really, and I need to learn to hold my phone the other way, but it's a bit awkward with my trolley, etc. So hopefully one day I'll be able to buy the right kit. But in the meantime, it's all about budgets um, and just getting things done. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please consider subscribing. And if you liked what you saw today, then give me a like because that will support my channel. Um, I'd like to build up a community and I will see you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.